What's up guys, this is It's Chrome HD here, and I am posting a new game um, that's going to be Vice City, a playthrough. Uh, I'm doing a San Andreas playthrough right now, and a Vice City. I'm also going to be doing the Ballad of Gay Tony. So, um, I'm doing basically just all GTA games right now, but that's not it. That's not all I'm doing. I'm going to be posting other games, um, like I'm continuing my... Um, What's that game? Hitman Absolution. I will be continuing that and uploading more Minecraft. So you guys will be seeing more than just GTA. But uh, we are going to start a new game. And I am playing this on the Xbox 360. But um, here's the game. Or here's the intro of the game. And just letting you know, this on Xbox is kind of slow. But you guys can watch this intro. Tommy Vassetti! Ha! <laughs> Shit! Didn't they never let him out? He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep the backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold us at his leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Hey, hey, guys, it's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them in the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! Come on, get out of here, go! head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovel shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Alrighty. So, gonna adjust a few things. See, that should be good. Um... That should be good. Um, so I beat this game for the first time. Uh, I think it was about maybe five days ago, four days ago. First time I ever beat this game. I've played it thousands of times, but never beat it because when I played it, I was around, I don't know, 
nine years old. So I never really beat this game, and I just basically played it, and I played it on the PS2. But uh, I had a friend, and she beat the game, and so I'd play out at her house, and then when San Andreas came out, I played that. But, um, San Andreas I've beat multiple times, like I said, like, I think it was seven or something times. But, um, I know I've only beaten this game once, and that was a couple days ago. So, um, I think we might be able to do two missions on this one, because the intro was not as long as the first one. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, I've got my word. I'll be in touch. Alrighty, so let's just go do the first mission. So seven minutes in right now. One thing I don't like about this game is how you don't have an overview perspective. Like you, like you can't look around in your overview perspective. Um, let's see, let's see, it's some flash up on I think this game probably has the best music in it. I don't know, it's just something with 80s music. I really like the 80s music. Uh, let's go see what's going on with Ken Rosenberg. Get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off, drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's ri ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine. And then, I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. I also like that shirt. I like his outfit. I remember when I was like eight years old and this was like coolest guy on the earth. I used to have a shirt similar to that. And I wore it around just because I it was awesome. Who didn't want to be Tommy Versetti? I mean, this guy is amazing. Not like he gives zero fucks. But um, you can change back to your street clothes, or well, that's what they called in here, street clothes. I don't think I had to take this guy's bike. I'm almost positive I don't. I 
I think I can just go there because I don't like driving boats. Or it'd be riding them, not driving them. I'm so used to hitting in the right thumbstick to look behind me from GTA 4 and stuff. But I think this is one of my all time favorite GTAs. One of my all time favorite games, actually. I just really like this game. Probably one of my favorites. Look at all these nice cars. Best car was that blue one right there. I can't remember what it's called. Well, that's like the second best car. There's another one that's actually really good. Buenas noches! I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our congressman, Alex Shrub, with rising silicone star. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? In silence. Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle, if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Fish Steve Wall Scott. Throws a passion with the new foreign invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, oh, then other amigo. How do we find you? <coughs> Our business is very dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get now. out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Yeah, that's right. Mercedes is a stripper. So, uh, let's see what this car is called. I can't remember. I think he... Let's see, what is it? I still remember when she oh, it didn't tell me. Hold on. I had to find this out. Maybe. I think it's the Banshee, but I'm not positive. I'll find out another time. Maybe. Oh, that tree. Palm tree. Always in my way. Okay, there's no way I should get the cops from that. I did not do anything wrong. He went into me. I have proof. I have a dash cam. I think I lose the cops. Yep. Alright, hundred dollars to start the game. That's not bad. Alright, so I will just do this one mission for this time. Just because you have to go through all the intro stuff and all that. But I'm gonna go get my street clothes back because I do not like these clothes. Alright, here we go. This is where it's at, these clothes right here. And I don't like on this game how the cops pull you out of their car. Like, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm sure I'll get in, I'll get uh, arrested once, but um, it's very annoying. Like, you, it's just, 
I don't get it. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is uh, 15 minutes long on the dot. But um, I only did one mission, like I said, because I had to go through all the, the intro and everything. And the intro is about like five minutes of the entire game. And so I had to do all that stuff and watch everything. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.